everyone welcome back in today's video we're gonna be going over a brand new tier list for honor of kings it's been a while since i've done this uh it's been a month and a couple of days um there has been a couple of patches we had a bunch of new heroes added so i'm gonna be giving you guys a brand new tier list that is accurate to the highest elos of the game uh as you guys know i'm currently epic 70 plus stars and also on peak tournament mode 2000 plus elo so i've been playing a bunch of high rank games but yeah uh we're gonna be going over everything uh from adc to jungle realm mid lane and clash lane and tell you everything you need to know so for marksman tier list um for ss so ss being the best and d being the worst this is gonna follow for every single tier list that i'm gonna make for every role but yeah ss being the best heroes best heroes um definitely going to be arly uh mechanically really hard but does a lot of damage a lot of mobility and has uh that second skill where you can block projectiles but yeah very strong hero very nice second one is going to be lung lung has a lot of sustainability it has a lot of true damage and has an ultimate that makes him untargetable when he ults very strong uh these two heroes are really you know mostly banned and picked so these heroes are going to be SS here for the higher elos and also pretty much the ADCs in general. For S tier, definitely is going to be Marco Polo. Marco Polo very solid, a bunch of true damage, a lot of mobility, one of the best and most fun ADCs right now in the game. Um, so definitely going to put him up there, especially if you like Yaria, super broken combo, Yaria Marco Polo. Uh he has like a 90% win rate in my games at least. But yeah, the next one is going to be Darenji. Darenji is very solid. Um he pretty much builds hybrid tank and is able to poke out and win and equalize a bunch of lanes. He's able to throw the cards from his passive to towers, do a bunch of damage. So definitely a solid pick after Marco Polo. Then it's going to be Lady Sun. Lady Sun, again, another uh, ADC that has been pretty solid, hasn't been really touched. It does a lot of damage, uh, a lot of range, but does need a bit of a support to kind of get there. So Lady Sun, pretty solid as well. For A tier, definitely going to put Concept U. Concept U counters a bunch of these ADCs. Um, her second skill makes her uh, immune to a bunch of physical damage, is able to poke them from long range and assassinate a bunch. So Concept U is a pretty solid pick to a bunch of these space like ADCs, especially like Lung or Lady Sun, can ignore a lot of damage. Right after that, I would say it's going to be uh, Lu Ban in the A tier. Lu Ban um, was a solid pick before as well, but uh, recently he got adjusted a little bit. So now uh, it does more damage to lower target health instead of tanks. So Lu Ban is a pretty solid pick here too. I would say Luara is still an A tier hero, even though he's not played too much in the higher elos. I think Luara just has potential to win a bunch of team fights. Uh, other than that, she doesn't really do too good. Um, she does have a pretty nice early game against other ADCs. You can auto them, and with your passive, uh, you're going to be able to do a lot of damage. But uh, mid to late game, she really suffers without team or like teammates. Um, okay, going to the last one for eight here. I think we're going to put Shoyu here. Shoyu is pretty solid. Uh, does a bunch of damage early uh, to even late game. He does a lot. Um, you're able to pick off a couple of people here and there if you're really good at sniping um overall again i think he's pretty solid i'm um, gonna put show you in the a tier if you're really good with show you it could be like high a tier or s tier like really low s tier but yeah show you definitely a tier um for b tier i'm gonna probably put erin here erin can go both uh, physical and magical damage um, is a pretty solid hero into like concept you or like heroes with like no mobility to catch people off um but yeah erin pretty solid right now definitely on b tier not on par with the s or ss tier heroes so yeah um the next one is going to be um, garo i believe garo got a unnecessary nerf a couple of days ago where she does less you know she used to be good against like shielded heroes she did 100 damage and now it's 50 percent of that so it's a little bit of a weird of a nerf but yeah garo is definitely not at a good spot right now i believe um she struggles against a lot of the assassins low mobility and and ming got also like a nerf too it was a garo ming combo but now garo doesn't have ming as much as before but yeah 
The next hero I would like to put in the B tier is going to be Alessio. I know that a lot of you guys complained about Alessio being D tier last time, but I think he still remains around, you know, B, C, D tier. Um, honestly, C tier would be the proper, but I think I'm going to put it in B just because um, I've, I've been playing Alessio for a little bit, and I think he does have a potential to be B tier if you're really good at him. Um... But yeah, it still lacks a little bit of a damage. I think a lot of the ADCs do a lot more than him. Late game, everyone pretty much blows him up and he gets assassinated by assassins. So yeah, same struggles as kind of like Garo. Um, for C tier, I'm going to put actually Ho Yi. Ho Yi uh, is not at a very good spot right now. He does have a lot of potential in the early game and counter some of the ADCs. Uh, I'll poke them, but... Yeah, overall, if you do not land your ultimates and if you do not have like teammates around you that will play towards you, um, Ho Yi is not the best of the ADCs right now, struggles with mobility a lot. And I think there is a lot of better options that you know you have in the farm lane than picking Ho Yi. Uh, same thing with Hong Zong. Hong Zong does have a lot of damage late game, pretty nice ultimate, good protection for himself, but again, needs to get to the late game, doesn't really do much. Um, early to mid game and then Fang obviously is going to go to D tier for me Fang doesn't really have too much going on for him other than clearing the waves and getting towers and, and you know sometimes catching off people he's really good against like Lang Ling uh, he's a good you know counter pick potential hero but other than that I don't really see Fang doing much in my games or anyone else's games in higher elo so Fang is definitely going to be there Okay, going over to jungle. Jungle is going to be uh, obviously Jing in SS with Luna. And I'm going to put Yu Han there as well. So Jing and Luna, obviously, as I mentioned before, really high skill heroes. Uh, you need to be really good at the game. You need to know their limits and know what to do. Yu Han got a major buff. Uh, she was, I think, around A or S tier in my previous tier list. But the buff she got makes her one of the best junglers, fastest clearers in the game. And she has a lot of annoyance, immunity, a lot of stuns, so a lot of damage now. So Yuhan definitely going to be SS for me. Um, going into S tier, Musashi is always a solid pick. One of the best, um, you know, blind picks in the game. Like whenever you don't know what the jungler, the enemy jungler is going to pick, Musashi is the answer. And over here, we're going to put Pei. Pei is really nice. Again, if you're really good at Pei, uh, he's a high skilled hero. You have, you know, the transformations where you can transform, have a, have a lot of mobility, a lot of damage, a lot of farm power. And uh, the next one here is going to be Nakaruru for me. Nakaruru is pretty solid as well. A lot of mobility, a lot of burst. Pretty one-sided hero though. Uh, it's kind of like glass cannon. You get in, get out, kill someone. So yeah, Nakaruru, very strong here. I would say Yao is definitely in the S tier now. Yao got a major buff. Last time I put him in the B, I think, or C tier. Um, and they buffed him pretty hard. And he's really solid now. One of the best junglers in the game. If you're really good. Uh, but yeah, Yao is a pretty nice hero. I would say Nerja is an S tier hero as well. Super tanky. And you can pretty much alt to anywhere you want. If you're like, you know, in range with it in it, within the range. And yeah, Nerja is pretty solid, can 1v5 at some points, very strong hero. Um, the next one I would put in S tier is still Ogren. I think Ogren got a quite a big nerf, but I think he's still pretty, very solid. He's like one of those heroes that you can't really nerf. Um, before, a lot of people just went tanky and like were super tanky, were killing everyone. Now everyone swapped over to attack damage build and he still has potential and he's very strong. So I think Ogren is a very solid still. Um, one other hero that I would put in S tier would be Don. Don is still very solid um, as a tank jungler. Um, same thing with Kaiser. I think Kaiser fell off a little bit after the nerf, but Don is still very strong and deserves to be there. Um, the next hero is going to be Dian Away. I'm going to put him in A tier. He did get a pretty nice adjustment to his first skill, got a little bit of a buff as well. So Dian Away is pretty strong. I would say he could be A tier in some comps just because of his cleanse power. But if you do not play him correctly, he's probably within A or B tier. Uh, Ying, again, pretty solid. Depends on the team. Has a lot of potential. You can catch off people. There's a lot of CC, but you need a team to end games. So Ying would be in the A tier. 
Same thing with Zilong, a lot of nice CC, a lot of, you know, potential to challenge and fight people, but is not able um, to kind of carry the game on his own. Hong Sin got a pretty nice buff. I would say Hong Sin is like high A tier now. Uh, definitely not in the S tier, like not on par with the other junglers. Um, if you're like a Hong Sin one trick, you could be S tier, like really low S tier, but definitely needs more buffs to be in, you know, in the S tier and on par with SS heroes. Same thing with Lang Ling. Lang Ling struggles now. A lot of the high elo players know how to counter him with the support item that gives you vision with Yaria, with Fang. So uh, Lang Ling definitely in the A tier. He's still a solid hero. Uh, a lot of good assassinating power, just not as good as the other junglers right now. Wukong got a pretty nice buff as well. Definitely an A tier hero now. If you're really good with him, kind of like Hong Sin, you could be low S tier. But yeah, definitely A tier for me. Um, I would say Athena is definitely a C or B tier hero. I see a lot of people say that Athena could be S. I don't really see it myself. Um, she has two different builds. She has a full attack build where she goes to enemy jungle, tries to steal, tries to invade, tries to one-shot people. But um, full um, tank build is a little bit better. You have more survivability and you're able to help your team. But yeah, a lot of times I see her go full tank, a full attack build, and a lot of people just pretty much give up on the game. They're like, you're feeding, but that's how Athena is played. It's pretty much a suicide style play style where you invade, you take farm, and you kind of turn into, um, you know, your passive where you become a ghost, get vision. But a lot of people don't realize that, and a lot of people throw games. So I think right now she's in the B and C tier just because a lot of people do not know how to play around it, and it's really, really hard to play with people like that. Uh, Lamb, I would say, is currently in the A tier. A lot of the junglers are just, like, doing better than him. Uh, Lamb doesn't really do much right now. A lot of people know when he's coming. A lot of people know when you're low now to recall, and the tank Lamb build don't really do much. It's only the attack build that really, you know, scales now, and I think he's not at a good spot right now. Ata, very solid pick right now in the jungle. I've seen a couple of good Ata players that are doing a bunch of damage, a lot of, you know, shutdowns, like shutting down the ADCs in the back with the bunch of health they have. So I think Ata is pretty solid, one of the best tank junglers right now. Um, I could honestly put it in S tier. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it in S tier. Ata is very solid. I know a lot of people don't play it, and they're going to be shocked when they see this. But yeah, Ata is a very solid, definitely one of the best tank junglers right now. Uh, even with the Blazing Cape nerf, I've seen a good Ata player just go crazy still. Levi is definitely going to be in the B tier. Even Levi got a buff. I think he still struggles. Uh, there's not many like good Levi players. And also Levi is uh, very hard to you know play with a bunch of counters that are in the game. Uh, you know, like Dong Huang, Liang, every time I see a Li Bai, people just lock in Liang and Dong Huang. You can't really do much and you just get suppressed. So, yeah, definitely Li Bai is quite hard to play right now. Uh, if you're really good, it could be an A tier hero, but definitely a B tier. Um, Sirius, I've seen a couple of good Sirius players. There is a rank one Sirius that I see in a, like a lot in my pick tournament games. I would say Sirius could be... Definitely a high B tier or A tier hero. I'm just going to put it in A just because he's pretty solid. So Sirius definitely an A tier. UQ is going to go to B tier. Um, again, mid, mid, actually early to mid game hero. And then he just falls off. Um, I think he needs better scaling into late game and a little bit more damage on his ultimate. Uh, like the lifesteal, like the mobility, like the playstyle, like the hero. Just not there yet for me. Uh, another hero in A tier definitely going to be Kong Ming. Kong Ming has a lot of damage throughout the whole game. Even if you are like a couple items behind, the execution on the ultimate and the resets on it is insane. So Kong Ming is definitely good. Definitely not at S tier. Um, he gets bursted down, killed really easily. Uh, but in the jungle, definitely A tier right now. Simai is another A tier hero. Same problem as Kong Ming. Um, a lot of mobility, a lot of damage, uh, but late game actually he falls off, uh, doesn't really do much late game. And a lot of people can just buy Scuba's Cloak, uh, the magic item, and the magic defense item, and he just gets countered. So definitely not the best. 
um, for me, Agudo is still D tier. I think uh, there, there has been a couple of Agudo players actually that are really good. It's just that I never see them win um, because he's just a second support. Uh, you cannot really solo carry or do anything. He's just a niche hero where uh, you can apply him in, you know, tanky comps or have like, you know, as a second support. But again, I don't think anyone trusts their teammates that much to uh, put Agudo in like an S tier. Definitely not like a hero that does too crazy. So again, really depends on a comp and playstyle on your teammates. Butterfly um, did get a buff. I don't see her being that good right now. Definitely C tier. I don't see her doing much. Uh, Liu Bei, um, I would like to put him in C, but I think he's better than Butterfly. So I'm going to put him in B. But yeah, this is definitely the current jungle tier list for the higher elos. Going into the Rome tier list, Rome is going to be definitely Dolia with the cooldown resets. You know, with the ultimate, you can reset anyone's cooldowns. You have the heal with the second skill, super annoying with the first skill, and uh, a lot of poke. So Dolia is super nice to have in your team. Daikao, really good hero. You need to know a lot of macro. You know, you need to have map knowledge to know where to go, where to be, when to alt team like your teammates into team fights, when to alt them out of team fights, when to teleport them back. You have so much power at your fingertips when you play Daikao, and a lot of poke too. Super annoying hero. Uh, another hero I want to add to SS here is going to be Zhang Fei. Um, he's probably the easiest one here out of those two, uh, those three now. Uh, but yeah, Zhang Fei got a pretty massive buff for the Rage Mode. Whenever he's big, he's able to knock up and launch up people. Does a bunch of damage too. So insane hero now. Sun Bin definitely going to be S tier. I saw a lot of you guys last time comment about Sun Bin not being good and being an auto loss hero. But again, if you are in the higher elo, Sun Bin has a lot of advantages like the movement speed, getting your health back, and the silence with the ultimate. So pretty huge, um, you know, hero. In the higher elos next one is going to be yaria yaria is super annoying with like arlie marco polo she just goes really well with the highest like you know high tier adcs like even darenji she's pretty solid she's able to knock back people and also give a huge amount of shield in team fights so um yeah yaria super annoying super nice is able to interrupt a bunch of people um next one is going to be mozi for me mozi has a lot of cc uh, you can go both magic or um, defensive build depending on your playstyle. If you can land your second skill, you can go full magic. If not, you can go full tank, max out your first skill. Um, very nice hero to have. Leon Po would be another pick here for me for support in the S tier. Super tanky, a lot of health, a lot of health regen, and a lot of CC with the ultimate and first skill combos. Um, Ming dropped to A tier for me. He used to be an S tier hero, but now it's A tier after the huge nerf he got. Definitely not a good look for Ming right now. Um, I would say Liang, Donghuang would be an A tier as well. Very niche heroes. You pick them to counter a lot of mobility heroes like Jing, Luna, Levi, Hongxin. But they're very solid, both of them. Um, Jiang Gyu, I would say he's in C tier for support. Definitely does a lot better in Clash lane. Um, yeah, Jiang Yu, annoying as support, doesn't really do much. He needs a lot of gold now. Um, next one, I would say Liu Shan would be in B tier. Uh, super annoying, a lot of, like, crowd control. Can take down towers easily and be annoying that way. But yeah, I don't think that he's going to carry games for you. Uh, Koi, same thing. I think Koi is B or C tier. Uh, if you can land hooks, like, congrats. But, um, you cannot really solo carry. Um, highest I would put him in is A tier, but yeah, definitely a B tier hero for me. Kayan would be another A or B tier hero. Uh, it's just a heal pack walking around. Uh, it's annoying if your team is, knows how to play around the Kayan, but a lot of the Kayan players just don't do anything. And overall, I think an anti-heal item is just a direct counter. Like, if you see a Kayan, just go anti-heal first. Um, and it's pretty much over. Kayan is useless. Um... Zhuangzi, Zhuangzi, I did put him in the D tier last time, but this time around, I'm going to put it in A or B tier, and sometimes even S tier. If you are picking this hero into a lot of CC, um, it's quite strong. Another hero in the support that I would put in B or C tier would be Don. Don is pretty good. Uh, I think he still does need gold as well, kind of like Jiang Yu. Um, otherwise, he's, he really dies really fast. 
and you can protect people it's just that like you kind of get left out he's pretty slow if you don't have your ultimate and for d tier i'm gonna put guzi uh i don't know dude i i like this hero and he's quite strong actually um but the problem is like people counter him super easily now um there's a lot of people that know how to counter him with like yaria first skill or like mozi second skill or even you know zhuang z zhuang z is a direct counter so i'm gonna put him in c i'm gonna put him in c or b i would say i'll put it in b just because zhuang z is in b but yeah definitely not the best right now and if i had to put anyone in d i would put koi but i think a good koi player could be in b or a tier so we'll just leave it there okay now for the mid lane definitely we're gonna go for ss for mai and shangguan still the best mid laners in the game right now uh, mai has a lot of poke a lot of damage a lot of assassinating power a lot of mobility shangguan um a lot of damage now uh she did get a buff i believe and has the ability to just go in the back line kill people up mid in, in the air with the stack she gets really hard heroes obviously but yeah uh the next one is going to be in the s tier which is going to be yuhan so yuhan here is going to be s tier in the mid lane one of the best heroes right now as i mentioned does the best in jungle for sure but i think in mid lane super annoying as well a lot of poke a lot of immunity with the ultimate a lot of stuns with the second skill you're able to easily gank with the range it has zo you got a massive buff with the second skill the damage over time and the healing so i think zo you is definitely s tier now it's been quite annoying to play against this hero in the past couple of days and i would say lady zen princess frost both got nerfed in the past couple of patches but i think they're still pretty solid and i think dai chan would be in a tier and if you're really good with dai chan you pick it in the right comps it could be s tier but definitely an a tier hero following that it's going to be zhao kao and also angela and kong ming Again, these heroes are pretty good, but just I think there's better heroes. There's better mages. A lot of the control mages are a lot better. Xiao Cal gets caught out easily. Angela got a little bit of a nerf. I think he's still pretty solid, just not in high elos. Nobody plays Angela. Kong Ming has barely any range. And you have to kind of bush check with him, which is quite hard, and you can get caught out easily. Nuva would be another A tier or possibly S tier to be honest. A lot of good Nuwa players in the higher elos. You have a lot of damage. You have a, a lot of CC, which helps in team fights. So I think Nuwa A tier or high A tier. Uh, Dr. Bian definitely B. Gao definitely B. Dr. Bian is just a heal machine, kind of like Cayenne. You just build anti heal and he's over. Uh, Gao is pretty good. It's good into uh, Gan and Mo, I believe. Um, but yeah. Uh, Let's actually add Ganon Mo here. I think I missed out on Ganon Mo. So give me one second. Uh, Ganon Mo. So yeah, Ganon Mo is definitely going to be S tier. I forgot to mention Ganon Mo. Ganon Mo definitely S tier. Um, probably with think like maybe before Yuhan has a lot of range, can reset the the skills, does a lot of bursts, able to like like execute people. So very strong. Milady C tier for me. Um, other than like getting towers, I don't see her doing much. And like sometimes it's annoying to play against like you know um, against her if you're like a Mosey. Also, we gotta add Mosey here. Forgot about Mosey. There we go. Mosey here would be definitely A tier as well. I don't see Mosey carrying or doing much. And yeah, uh, I would say Liang and Dong Kuang are between B and C. I'm gonna put him in, you know, I'm gonna put him in C right now. Uh, obviously, if Liang gets like a Dolia and is able to like get really nice halts and assassins or people with mobility like Arlie, Liang is gonna be definitely A or B tier. But again, these are niche heroes. You gotta counter pick these. You don't just lock in Liang and be like, okay, let me start the day with Liang or Dong Huang mid. Dong Huang mid again is a thing too. You go full AP, full magic build, and try to kill people but yeah um dodgy definitely one of the worst heroes right now in the game it's kind of like same level as Milady, so i'm gonna put her in c tier 
and Zia would be definitely D or C tier right now. He has a lot of clear. Uh, he's obviously a brand new hero, so we need maybe like a couple of more days on it. But yeah, I think... Hmm. Actually, we might have to move Milady up. I think Milady is better than Dr. Bian. We gotta move Bian down. Um, we gotta adjust this a little bit, actually. The B tier and C tier. Um, Dodgy maybe D tier, to be honest. Let's put Dodgy in D. I uh, would say Zia, Milady, Gao, pretty solid. B tier. Dr. Bian, Dong Huang, Liang are C tier. And you can pick them into certain comps and would work. But yeah, other than that, they're kind of useless. Zia again, brand new hero. Um, it's really hard to hit level 15 plus or even 25. Like this hero needs to have like gain a lot more EXP to get to level 25. I've never seen anyone go past level like 19 or 20 in high elos. But yeah, on paper, he looks or sounds pretty good. But overall, in game, he's not that good. Just has a lot of clear and a lot of poke. But yeah. Overall, I think he gets caught out very easily, very immobile, and doesn't have too much health. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the mid lane. Uh, I don't think we missed anything else. So let's move on to Clash lane. So Clash lane for SS is definitely still going to be all lane. And I would say Jiang Yu is still... These two are pretty much the strongest Clash laners. They're always banned or picked um, for S tier. And I think right now, Mulan is pretty good. Mulan got a huge buff. Um, I would say Neja is S tier. I would say Main, a really good Main, could be SS. But I'll put her in S right now. Uh, Byron. Byron, again, really good equalizer in lane. A lot of damage. Can catch out a bunch of people. Uh, I would say maybe A, but definitely S tier right now for me. Kaiser is not as good. Definitely A tier. Uh, Fuzi, Lixin, very niche heroes. If you can pick them, split push, you can be strong. Uh, Lixin got a couple adjustments, and I believe it was kind of like a nerf and a buff at the same time, so it was weird. But yeah, Lixin hasn't been doing too great. Um, I've seen a couple of good players on it, but other than that, again, it's kind of like a Fuzi. I'd rather just play Fuzi if I had the chance to play split push. Lubu got a pretty big buff. I think Lubu... Is at a good spot now and is definitely high A tier. Um, Dharma got a massive buff, definitely S tier. Cooldown reduction, insane. Dharma was already pretty solid. It was a hero that was picked in the pro scene a lot too. And I would say Ogren Clash Lane is A tier. Uh, it used to be S tier in Clash Lane when you can go full tank, but now he can't really go full tank. Blazing Cape nerf and also his skills got nerf. L literal like. He barely has any life still now um, when you go full tank. So I think he's A tier or maybe even B tier. But we'll just leave it at A. Uh, Dawn definitely S tier. Uh, equalizes a bunch of lanes. Able to defeat a lot of people and survive a lot of fights. Liam Po B tier. Uh, he can survive a lot of fights. He can fight you know, a lot of people. Just can't kill them and also can't die really. And if your team doesn't really play towards you, you're just, just a meat shield. Just walking around the top lane. Sansei is definitely an A tier hero. If you're really good, could be S tier. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty solid hero. Of, of like in higher elos, people abuse Sansei uh, to cut out people, but they just pick Zhuang Z and he's kind of useless. So I would say A tier, high A tier for Sansei. Maybe the highest in A tier. Musashi, another A tier hero, pretty solid, probably best in the jungle, but does a bunch of damage, bunch of you know solid engages in the clash lane, and could be good against certain heroes. Um, let's see here. I would say, did we miss Haino? I think we missed Haino for the mid lane, so we're gonna go back to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, let me add Haino for clash lane. So Haino. So Haino for Clash is definitely going to be in the A tier now. Haino items got nerfed and he also got the re like the, the damage reduction nerf on his ultimate. So he's not as annoying. But yeah, if you're good with Haino, definitely A or B tier. I'm going to put it in B tier right now. Mm, actually, he's A. Yeah, there's no way he's B tier right now. Even though I haven't played too many games, he's just so annoying that like I don't think the nerfs did anything. 
Um, Wuyan, I would say Wuyan is C. Definitely not at a good spot right now. Um, Arthur, I would say he's a B tier hero. Dong Huang, C tier. Again, it's a situational hero to pick. Yang Jian, I haven't seen this guy since the, the game launched. Um, Yao is definitely going to be A tier, high A tier. He's kind of like a Fuzi, links in. Um, split pushing, grabbing gold. Um, Charlotte, definitely high A tier or S. I'll put Charlotte in S tier. She's pretty solid. A bunch of the good, you know, Charlotte players are super OP. You don't see her too often, but it's pretty solid. Um, Ata, again, pretty solid, I would say, in Clash Lane. Um, with Execute, A tier. With a Smite, S tier. Uh, Smite Ata players are really nice. Really knowledgeable. And this guy doesn't really die. But yeah, A tier, S tier. Depending on what you play and how you play it. Um, but yeah, Guan Yu. Guan Yu is another... I would say Guan Yu is A tier, to be honest. A or B tier. Um, it's really good into like, you know, catching off people, especially in solo queue. But yeah, I'm going to move Yang Jiang to D tier. Wu Yan maybe too, to be honest. And then Yukio would be in B tier here. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go back to the mid lane and add Haino. Okay, Haino would definitely be in the A tier here. Haino is definitely A tier, definitely not fallen down to B tier, even after their nerfs. It was just a little bit of a magic scaling nerf for both the first skill and the ultimate. But yeah, overall, let's go over the whole list. We have ADC here, pretty solid picks in the S and SS. So again, this is my recommendation. It's the SS, the S, and A tier are probably the most playable heroes in each role. Again, jungle, these are pretty OP. The S tier, pretty solid. A tier, playable, but not the best right now. And Rome. Again, Dolia, Daikao, Zongfei, pretty solid. Uh, you got Sunbin, Yaria, Mozi, Liampo. Again, solid heroes here. And you got Mai Shirnoi. You got Shangguan for mid lane. You got Yuhan. So again, this is going to be the proper TLS right now at the moment for this current patch. And yeah, guys, much love. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments or if I missed any heroes. There's a bunch of heroes. I think the only one that, that I caught on that I was missing was Haino. I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing here. But yeah, let me know if I missed anything or if I missed any of your heroes that you play in different lanes. Um, I did try to avoid, you know, picks that are kind of random. In this video, I think in my last tier list, I put a couple of random hero picks like Yuhan in support and stuff like that. Yuhan support is something I use myself. Um, but I don't see a bunch of people playing it and I don't think a lot of people can play it. It's just very niche and you can like pick it into certain comps. But yeah, overall, I think this is pretty good for a tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys agree with it or disagree and why you disagree with it if you disagree and why you agree. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you guys the next time. Much love. Have a great rest of the day or night. Peace out.